Now for this part of the question, we've got to find out the shortest distance of C to the line L. So that shortest distance is from here to the line L by drawing a perpendicular to the line L. So we can use this right angle triangle because we already know the angle theta from the last part we found out that theta was 36.699 and so on degrees. So if we call this shortest distance D, then to get D I just use basic trigonometry. It will be the sine of theta equals the opposite side D over the hypotenuse, the root of 126. So if we just go over here we've got the sine of theta then equals the opposite side D, that shortest distance, divided by the hypotenuse which is the square root of 126. So rearranging this for D, D will equal root of 126 multiplied by the sine of angle theta. Now the point is we could just put in theta equaling 36.699 and so on degrees into here but what's going to happen is that we're going to get a decimal answer and if we want an exact answer then we happen to know the exact value for the cosine of theta. We worked that out also in the last part of the question. We found out that the cosine of theta was equal to 3 over the square root of 14. And when we inverse cos this we get this angle. Now because we've got this value for the cosine of theta, what we can do is draw a right angle triangle because we're only concerned with the trigonometric ratios. If I was to draw a right angle triangle here where this, ang whoops, this angle here was theta, we've got cosine which compares adjacent over hypotenuse. This would be 3 units to every root 14 units on the hypotenuse. And by Pythagoras' theorem, you could work out what this side is. It will be the hypotenuse squared minus the shorter side squared, all square rooted. So it will be the square root then of the hypotenuse squared, which is going to be 14, minus 3 squared, which is 9. So it's going to leave you with root 5. So when it comes to working out what D is exactly, we can say that it's the square root of 126 multiplied by the sine of theta and the sine of theta is root 5 over 14 opposite over hypotenuse. So if I put that in there as root 5 over root 14 we end up with D being an exact value because the root of 126 is the same as 3 times the square root of 14 when multiplying this by root 5 over root 14 the root 14's cancel, leaving you with 3 root 5. Alright, so uh, that's how I would go about that particular question.